from Mohawk Raceway in Campbellville, Ontario. It's the seventh race in the series, the $560,000 two-year-old Colt and Gelling Trot. Hello, everyone. I'm Jim Houston. Welcome to Mohawk Raceway. We're in Campbellville, Ontario, about an hour outside of the city of Toronto, give or take a few minutes, depending on the traffic. This is rural Ontario, and it's appropriate that we're here in the heart of horse country in southern Ontario. Earl Lennox is here as our analyst for tonight's two heats and the final of this Breeders' Crown Series. What does a race like this and a rich purse mean to a track like Mohawk? Well, it's the richest race for trotters in Canada this year, Jim, and for Mohawk, of course, our richest race of the season. It's uh, the highlight of our racing season, and, and we're quite appreciative here at Mohawk that the Breeders' Crown has seen fit to give us a leg of their series, which uh, might decide the year-end uh, champion in this category tonight. $560,000, the total purse. The horses will be racing for $420,000. In the final, you see the breakdown with the winner getting $210,000. They'll qualify for the final after two $70,000 heats. Well, we've had a chance to look at the eliminations, and as we get our audience set up for the first of these, what should they watch for as they look at this race? Well, we can give them something to watch for right from the beginning. Watch for Delray Lobel. He spoils his chances early in this race. Watch for the uh, Joseph Kroll-trained entry of uh, Petri Cosmos and Grundy's Connection, who is the uh, betting favorite at post time. Uh, they, they set up uh, fast early fractions. Watch for a perfect trip uh, from Continental Spirit. Watch for Huggy Hanover right at the end. He can't get by them. And uh, German Street spoil his chances late in the race. So that's the whole field. All right, there's the first elimination. You see the horses in order of their post position on the screen. And now let's go to John Crake with the call of the first.